your favorite musicians, exclusive interviews, local artists, all on the Life Songs podcast. Tonight, the Healer Tour at the Pontchartrain Center features casting crowds and Ben Fuller and We Are Messengers, and we have Darren Mulligan of We Are Messengers with us right now. What's up, Darren? Good man. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Fully caffeinated. Got the coffee in you. I have enough caffeine to be irresponsible with my words. Nice. <laughs> and speaking of words, that's what we're going to do. We're going to play a game called We Are Text Messengers. Oh, this sounds terrible. Yeah. So I'm going to give you some shorthand, some common text abbreviations, and you have to tell me what they mean. Okay. Yeah? Do you text a lot? Uh, Are you on your phone constantly? I mean, I figured touring you would probably yeah, be. more than I should be. I tend to use the emojis. Mm-hmm. So the uh, the abbreviated text, this could be a challenge. Let's go. Let's but see what we got. I got to say, just, just off to the side, the addition of being able to put GIFs or GIFs, however you say it, into text messages... I could communicate 100% with just those. Aye, the boys in the band do too. I call them GIFs, by the way, but I think that makes me sound archaic. Well, I think that's what they technically are, but I still call them GIFs because it stands for graphic, right? That's a hard G. It should be dot G-I-F-S, dot GIFs. (laughs) Yeah. But I call them GIFs. Here we go. It is time for We Are Text Messengers with Darren Mulligan of We Are Messengers. What does BRB mean? Be right back. Very good. What is a place that you have played mm. that you just loved so much yeah. that you just can't wait to get back to? And it maybe it surprised you, like Akron, Ohio or something. I don't know. Yeah, well, you you may, may or may not believe this. Like, we've played incredible venues, Red Rocks and the Beacon Theater and the Forum in LA, all these, you know, iconic venues. Mm-hmm. But my favorite show of all over the years was in a dive bar called The End Bar in Nashville. Yeah, it I believe a it. a bar with 150 people crammed into it. Just... Incredible to see what Jesus does Mm -hmm. in the places you would least expect Jesus to do things. So yeah, I can't wait to get back to a little dive bar in Nashville and share the gospel with regular folks who maybe have never heard it. True story, like in the gospels, when you've got all these stories of Jesus on the side of a hill speaking to tens of thousands of people. Mm. My favorite stories are the ones where he's like at a friend's house, like he's hanging out with Zacchaeus or he's over at Mary and Martha's house. That seems to be like the comfortable Jesus, where he's in his element with his people. Yeah, yeah. And the story where Jesus is sitting at a table and with all the Pharisees, Mm -hmm. you know, the religious leaders, and they're all proper and prim. And then this woman comes in and she breaks her perfume and she pours it on his feet and she dries and washes his feet with her hair. Mm -hmm. And they're all saying, Jesus, what kind of man are you hanging out with sinners? And he reminded them, he said, I've been out in the street all day walking through the filth and the mud and the muck. You guys didn't offer me anything, but this woman has poured out something precious on me. Jesus has a habit of flipping our idea of what um, religion should look like upside down. Mm. And what he's not looking for are um, spiritual superiors. He's looking for sons and daughters that will serve. And I, I want to be that. I want to be the kind of man that instead of trying to get the best seat at the table, we'll just sit wherever Jesus is hanging out and serve there. That's beautiful. Thank you, Darren. We are text messengers. What does R-O-F-L stand for? Rolling on the floor laughing? Yes. Is that right? Nicely done. Now, when you tour with other bands, there's almost always someone that is the cut up. Yeah. So let's have a little healer tour superlative here. Who is the class clown? Uh, It has to be my guitar player, a guy called Kyle Williams. This man wears camo everywhere <laughs> like literally he came out on stage the other night in camo and a fishing hat and i'm like this sure why not he, and just to make us laugh like this guy cracks us up from morning to night <laughs> he does the most amazing impersonations uh, but you're gonna have to uh, meet him in person to realize how funny he is and i love that because he brings a light-hearted nature to the band because yeah. i can be pretty intense uh for real for real and he he just yeah he cracks us up all day long so i love that you need that when you are yeah. away from home, when you're touring, when you're when people come to concerts. A lot of times they're bringing heaviness with them, and you're carrying that burden with them. So yeah. you you got to have that release. Yeah, it, it can't all be serious. And Jesus wasn't all serious. You know, Jesus is hanging out at the wedding. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he's dancing, um, whether you like it or not. He's drinking some kind of alcoholic beverage. I am not proposing we drink alcoholic beverages. I'm just saying. Jesus hung out with his friends. Jesus knew how to laugh. He knew how to celebrate. And he also knew how to mourn and how to weep with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, our lives shouldn't look that much different, you know? If it's good enough for Jesus to hang out and have a laugh, we can do that too. I think that honors God. I love that. 
We are text messengers. Mm -hmm. What does I-M-H-O stand for? Oh, I am H-O? I-M-H-O. In my honest opinion. Very nice. How do I know this? I don't know. I did not expect you to do so well. You're like a 13-year-old girl. Like, you're <laughs> you're really nailing this. I, I genuinely have never in my life texted any of these abbreviations. <laughs> How do I know it? That is so sad. Do you have any weird opinions? Like, unpopular opinions? Uh-huh. On anything? <laughs> yeah, on anything. No, it's a bad question to ask me. My whole life is unpopular opinions. <laughs> Give me an example. Something that will... Yeah, I think turkey legs are awful at the fair. Okay. I don't think you should eat turkey legs. I think corn dogs are disgusting. Um, I think Americans, when it comes to politics, should grow up and stop being offended by everybody all the time. Amen. You know? I think we should remember that God is sovereign, that he is king, that he is above all things, and that in the end, everything's working together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purposes. So we should just relax. I have a lot more unpopular opinions that I cannot say in the air. <laughs> so if you want to know my deeply unpopular opinions, you can come get coffee with me. Yeah. I'll tell you them all. I, I can't wait for that. It's going to be I great. I ain't afraid. All right. Uh, we are text messengers. OMW. Oh, my word. No. What? You're wrong. Oh, hold up then. Give me a second. OMW. On my watch? Nope. Close. Oh, I don't know. It's on my way. So uh, that's why you text someone when you're coming. I'm a dingle. I should have got that one. <laughs> on my way. So when we're on our way to the healer tour tonight, uh-huh. how do we best prepare our hearts for what we're going to get? Uh, just chat with Jesus. You know, I'm not saying go full on like hands clasped, eyes closed, because you're probably driving. Best to keep them open. Hmm. Um, it doesn't really matter in New Orleans yeah. traffic. <laughs> but I got to teach my kids to pray and not so much by asking Jesus for things. But I, I always encourage them to tell Jesus about their day. Like, just talk to him. Like, he knows what's happening, but he must really appreciate when we say, hey, God, how, how are you? This is what I'm doing. I'm looking forward to seeing you. So just come prepared. If you really want change and transformation, you can have it, because Jesus will be there, just like he's here, and he's with you wherever you are right now. And if you come with an expectation that you're just going to get music and songs and a good night, you can have that too. Um, my preference would be that you have an encounter with the goodness of God, that you leave challenged, that you leave with a new perspective on his kindness, and that God transforms you. That's what I really want, is what this band hopes for, is that as we deliver a message of the good news of Jesus, that you receive it, be transformed, and in some way come alive just a little bit more. You get more authentic and awesomeness with Darren tonight and his band We Are Messengers at the Healer Tour, 7 o'clock tonight at the Poncha Train Center with uh, Casting Crowns. I don't know who those guys are. I guess they're new. They're average. They and, may work out for them. Yeah, and uh, Ben Fuller. <laughs> so it's just going to be an amazing night. Yeah. And and thank you so much, Darren, for coming in, for hanging out. I'll say this about Casting Crowns, and I want to honor them. You know, they've almost been doing this for about 20 years now. It actually is 20 years. I've never met another band where Jesus is always at the center of their thinking. And every decision they make, Jesus is at the center of it. Even when you see them perform on the screen behind them, they have scriptures for every song. Mm -hmm. Like they're obsessed with the word of God and getting that into people's hearts. And so they've inspired me because I'm an evangelist. I can be a little bit wild, a bit rough around the edges, but they have inspired me to dig deeper into the word because faith comes by hearing and hearing through the word of God. So the other thing you can do to prepare yourself for tonight is read the word. Open it up today and you'll be surprised by how accessible it is and by how quickly Jesus wants to talk to you. And even if you don't come to the show, remember that Jesus is very fond of you. He desires relationship with you. He's hungry for your attention. And that no matter how far you've gone or drifted, he's waiting for you with open arms. And all you have to do is turn around. Yeah, so I hope you join us. But if you don't, all I really hope is that you just love Jesus because he is the answer. And it sounds like a terrible segue, but he is the healer. Yeah. Like, you know, Mark Hall sings it every night. We need a, we need a healer. We don't need another hero. Heroes cannot save us, but a healer can. And his name is Jesus. Compassion International presents Casting Crowns, the healer tour. We need the healer. We don't need 
Casting Crowns, The Healer Tour, with special guests We Are Messengers and Ben Fuller. Monday, April 17th at Pontchartrain Convention and Civic Center in Kenner, Louisiana. That's Kenner on April 17th. For tickets or information, visit TransparentProductions.com. It's a night you'll be talking about all year long. Life Sounds thanks Allocate Ministries for their support.